Hey guys, if you want to run a Factorio server and play the game off the same PC, watch this. So first what we're going to do is launch Factorio. Once that's up, you're going to want to start a new game, and this is going to be your server world. So go ahead and set the settings you want and change anything. We're going to hit generate. There we go. What you're going to want to do is save the game. We'll save it as server map. Quit the game. And now we're going to want to go to your Factorio install directory, which by default, if you're using Steam, is in uh, the Steam files. So we're going to go to your hard drive. Might It's probably C, might not be D. You're going to want to go to Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Factorio and this is the folder we're gonna want so we're gonna copy that Factorio folder and we're gonna make a new folder somewhere it can be on your desktop it could be in your documents we're gonna name it Factorio server open that up and now we're just gonna copy all of the contents of this into that folder There we go. Once that's done, we can close this. So here we are. We've got our uh, our server folder. This is what that's going to be. Next step is to go to app data, which you go to by typing percent app data percent in your uh, search bar. Find that folder. This is the location of it. Uh, it is hidden, so you might need to uh, unhide your your files folders. Factorio and we're going to want the config file so we're going to just copy that and put it right in here with everything else there now we have a config folder perfect next step is to edit the config file which is in the config folder and this is where these are the two values we're going to be changing right here this is the read data where the game reads data from and this is where the game writes data to. So we're going to go back in our Factorio server folder and data that's where we're going to be reading from. So we're going to come in here right click anywhere click on properties and we're going to get the location of this data folder and we're going to slip that right in here copy paste and there we go users key desktop factorial server data and that's exactly where this folder is so we're perfect there and you you might not have the same path but the folders will be the same you'll need your data folder and you just copy whatever that is into this area write data this is where the game is going to write data to and we want that to be this main factorial server this is going to be our server folder is where we're going to be writing to so we'll go to properties and same thing we'll copy that We'll paste it right here, and we want to add the name of the folder on there yet. I did it up here with data. I snuck it in there. So we'll copy that. Factorial server. Perfect. And that's all we need. You can come down and read this and change some of the th these things if you like. For now, we're going to save that and close it. We're done with the config file. Now, the next thing we need to change is this file right here, the config path. So we're going to edit that. And now we're going to want this to be our config folder. We're going to want this to lead a path to our config folder. So I'm going to come here, get the properties, grab our config folder location, and you're going to want to paste it right over that. Don't forget to add the actual folder. Slash config. <coughs> Excuse me. Save that. Close that, close this. Next, we need to create the bat file, which is actually going to run your server. Bin 64, this is where we're going to put that. So, let's new text document. That's fine for now. We will edit it. And what you're going to want to put here, first of all, start 
wait. That keeps the command window open so we can see what's going on. Factorio.exe, that's the name of our, well, it's lowercase, so make sure you, you follow cases. Cases are very important with this. And we're going to want to start the server. We're going to want to start, let's see, I forgot the name of our map. Go back to our Factorio server folder, click on saves, server map.zip. Actually, just copy that name right away so we don't get it wrong. Start server, server map.zip. Then we're going to want to add a server settings folder. So we will type server settings. And I uh, forgot to make that, so let's go make that. Well, we actually don't have to make it, it's sitting in data. So if you click on your data folder, you'll find a server settings.example. And that's what we're going to use. You can use, uh, you can take all these, this, the whitelist, the, you can generate a map. I haven't tried this, but these are all files you can take and do what we're going to do. I'm going to show you right now what we're going to do with this. So copy that, go back to our main factorio server, paste it, change the name, uh, get rid of the example and one of the periods, dots. So we have a server settings dot JSON. Now we're going to want to edit that, and this is your ser this is what these are your server settings. That's the easiest way to say it. So we will put uh, McSwagger's server dedicated server runs from 9 p.m. to uh, well, let's make this little 9 a.m to, uh, I don't know, 3 p.m. or something? U.S. Eastern Time. Uh, max players will do four. Okay, so this is something you need. You will need credentials to be able to log in and play on the Factorial server to be able to make it public. Even if this is true, if you don't have your credentials, it's not going to put you on the public list. And to get this, you can log into Factorio.com. Well, this is your Factorio.com account. So my nickname is Swagger. And now here you can either use your password or a token. And these authentication tokens you can get from factorio.com. And they maybe use instead of your password, which I don't want to type in my password, so I'm going to use a token. I, I don't know what it is, it's pretty long, so I'm going to do this. Uh, you can set a password to your game server. And you can come down and change all these things, read them, auto, auto save interval, uh, auto kick, auto pause, admins only pause game, blah blah blah. You can change any of that that you want. Save it. And there we go, our server settings is done. So now we can come back to bin 64 and our document here. And now this is where we're going to want to put in where our server settings file is. So I'm actually going to come back to the server settings that we just finished right here, server settings.json, get the properties and the location of this folder. Copy it, paste it right here, and don't forget to throw in the name, otherwise it's just going to go to this folder, dash server settings.json. Perfect. Now, when you save this, we don't want to save it as a text document. Text documents don't do anything except, yeah, well, we're going to go on to save as, and we're going to want to save it as, I don't know, start, server start, something like that, dot B-A-T. So you can name it run, you can name it uh, hippo, we're going to do start. And then down at save as type, you will want to choose all types. That'll save it as a bat file. And once you have this all done, you can hit save. And that just created, if we go back to where that file is in bin time 64, start. And this is what is going to start our server. And now if we click on start, oh, um, oh, I, okay, so, I know what happened. So in server settings down here, I tipped in a random token, because I didn't want you guys to see my token or my password. 
that's not going to work. So I'm going to type in my password. Okay, I've typed in my password. I've saved that file, server settings. Now we're going to go back to bin 64. And now when we click on this, there we go. Um, so everything looks good. Okay, so let's start up Factorio. Now we're going to want to go to Play Multiplayer, Browse Public Games, and the easiest way, I'll see it's right here, but uh, you know, a as it gets older, the easiest way is to type in what your server is. We'll click on that. And there we go. Hello everyone. Nobody's here, so... And as you can see, there's a little bit of lag. That's because I'm using uh, a Wi-Fi connection to host this server. If you have Ethernet, that is the best way. It's going to be the most reliable. So now, um, let's go through some troubleshooting. One issue you might have is... I put my name down here. I'm not sure if that's the wrong format or if I'm supposed to do something else, but at the bottom of my server settings.json folder, if we save this and then try to run the server, we get this error. Unexpected character at D users, blah, 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 server settings.json. And now that could be it is because of this in this case, but maybe you deleted some of this important stuff or you added something that wasn't an option. And regardless, what that means is this file is messed up. So if we fix all this and save it again, it will work fine. Issue you could have if say we forgot to throw the data on the on our read there we'll save that and try to run it, it closes right away so in this case there's nothing for our data to read from because we have changed it to read from the factorial server folder not the data folder add data back on there and it'll work Another issue could be if you mess up your, what is this? Don't need that. If you mess up your config path folder, if you accidentally say don't put config on the end and you just lead it to the factorio server there folder and let's see what it gives us. Unexpected character at, okay, server settings. So that's the same error message from before. But basically what this is telling us is the directory we gave for the config file is our factorial server folder. And that's actually where this came from earlier, the file I deleted, the config file, is it made a new config file. If we open this, you'll see it has our old paths in here, and that's why it's not working. Our new config file has our new paths telling us where our data is and where to write our data to. So that's the issue right there. If we delete this old config file and edit our config path to be correct, slash config, it will work fine. Now, something else you could do is set up a static IP address and run the server from a specific IP. And I'm going to show you that right now. Bar command prompt and type in ipconfig forward slash all. And that's going to give us our internet connection uh, settings. Well, not settings, but information. Now, I have two wireless LAN adapters. Uh, this is the stronger one, so this is the one I'm going to want to use. If I use this IP address, the server is going to lag a lot, very much, and nobody's going to join it. So we want to use this one. How do we use this one every time? As you may know, IP addresses change every time a device is disconnected or reconnected to a router. So how do we make this stay the same and sync it to our server? First things first, we're going to want to go to Control Panel, 
find your network status and tasks. You're going to want to go to change adapter settings and right click on the Wi-Fi or on the internet connection I should say that you want to run the server on. We're going to properties and click on internet protocol version 4. Click on properties of that guy and this is where we can set up our static IP. So what I like to do when I use a static IP is I'll use the same address whatever yours may be I would just copy the first three spaces here. Wait, what am I doing? 192.168.1. We're looking at this one. And then since the last number is 4, I will just put 44. It's very highly unlikely that I'm going to have 44 devices attached to my router. So, 44 is, uh, I usually just double the last number. Subnet mask, that should fill it in automatically for us. There it is. And then the default gateway, that would be 192.168.1. One. And you may need to set up a DNS server. Usually not. Hit OK. Close, close that. We can close this. Close that. And now, to tell the server to run off of that IP and use that specific internet connection, we're going to edit our start file. And we're going to add in right here, bind. 192.168.144. That's our static IP. We want to bind that IP to this server. And I get you could I guess you could also put in uh, the port, which is port the port for Factorio that it needs is 34197. There we go. Save. And now the server is going to run off of that IP and that port. Let's hit start. server connection resumed and now as you can see it's running off of 192.168.144 our our internet connection that we want the server to run off of port 34197 and that's basically that we will uh, quit this close that and there you go I hope you enjoyed and I hope this is easier I left some links in the description useful articles and forums for you to look at if you need to for reference and I hope you can get it working feel free to comment if you have any issues or if you got it working I'd like to hear about it thanks for watching